Hey everyone, welcome to this different sort of video where um, I'm going to just show you two of the recent pens that Mont Blanc have released. And I posted this on Instagram and I, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening here. And I had asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing a video um, of the Mont Blanc Writer's Edition for 2019, which is the homage to Kipling, compared to the 2018, which is the homage to Homer. Um, now, they're totally different pens, and you could probably still find the Homer out there, but it's going to be gone pretty soon. But they're different models, obviously, they have different design elements, different motifs, different inspiration, different ink of the year, like ink for the special edition to match. But I just thought I would show you the two pens just for fun. It could be interesting, right? So this is the Writer's Edition for 2019. This is the Kipling, and then this is the one for 2018, and this is the Homer. So both of these are, they don't belong to me. This is on loan from Applebaum, and this belongs to a friend. So let me just show you. Um, the packaging is the same. So if you're buying multiples of these Writer's Editions, you're going to have a nice lineup on your shelf or whatever if you decide to keep them. And they're basically, they look like books, right? It's pretty cute. So if we want to take a look at them, one thing they have in common is the... Uh, this is actually raised, so this is the signature of Kipling, and this says something. I don't know much about the homework. I can't remember. I did. A, I think I did a post about it once, but um, they're both raised, and this is in the Greek blue of the ink. Unfortunately, this one is not the jungle green, which is the ink, but that's okay. It's a nice small touch that makes the box seem a little less bland. Now, if we slide the boxes out carefully place those down gently and you've got these which look the same but it's interesting because they really do look like books so if we open them up um, each one comes with your service guide for your pen but it also comes with the little booklet about your pen so the um, uh, the Homer has let me just open them up both we'll open them both up like, they're totally different on the inside. Um, the Homer's on the bottom, the Kipling's on the top. And what you'll find in here is details about the pen, like the inspiration behind the, uh, behind the pen, why they decided to go with this, the design elements that they have focused on. So, um, let me just flip to... Uh, yeah, you know, it might just be easier if I just show you these things because I'll just show you on the pens because it's like, it doesn't really make sense to talk about it up here. Um, so those are the booklets that you get and, sorry, there's hair in my mouth. Does that surprise you? Not really. Um, more interestingly is we have the pens. So let's take a look at the pens. I know I'm looking away from you. You're just going to have to manage for a few minutes. So here are the two pens, okay? Um, this is the current one, this is the Kipling, and this is the last year's, which is the Homer. Now, if we look at them side by side, obviously I'm going to do this in more detail um, with the desk down, but let me just show you here. They're pretty intense pens. Um, at a glance, the Homer looks bigger because it's definitely wider, and it it's got a bit more sculpture to it, whereas this one stands out because it's got this really intense clip. And so... Um, the Homer is a little bit longer and a little bit wider. The Kipling's just a little slimmer, a little more narrow towards the back of the barrel. And here's the tops. The Kipling has a rounded top. The Homer is flat top. And okay, let me see. They're both like, depending on where you buy it and when, they're both between like 800 and 1,000 US, okay? So roughly. Um, I can't remember how much the Homer is now, but I know the Kipling is like 750 US or so. And so with the Kipling, most of the detail, like the design element is in the clip. And for the Homer, most of the design element is like in the body of the pen because you can see it here. But the best thing to do will be to look at it in detail um, with the camera down because then I can put them down and show you a little more stuff. Um, the Homer is based on the 139, so it's got the larger nib. This one is the smaller one. It looks like a, like a, like a grand 146. Um, so it's got the smaller, uh, sorry, this one has the larger nib and the Kipling's got the smaller nib. So let's 
let's like stop doing all this chit chat. Just wanted to show them to you, show you the boxes. But let's go down to the camera and um, I'll also show you the inks that came with the, like that match the pens. And then we'll just do some quick writing, take a look at the details. And then that way you can just like enjoy it. You know, it's just kind of fun. So um, just a fun thing because these are two of the of the most recent writer's editions. Like these two caught my eye mostly because they've got animal themes on it. So um, I can show you that kind of stuff too. So let's do that. I will see you in just the jiffy. Okay, so here we are with the better portion of the video because now we can see everything in more detail. Um, let's see, the inks that pair up with the pens are as follows. Um, so those are the swabs, these are the pens. The neither matches perfectly, obviously. This is Greek blue and this is jungle green, but I actually really like both of them. The Greek blue is one of my favorite blues and I've got two bottles of it and I'm burning through it like crazy and I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. <laughs> I've got one bottle of the Jungle Green. I think it's really nice. Um, it shades really nicely. It's kind of like a green gray. So um, I really like how it looks. So these are the, um, those are the inks and there's the design elements on the boxes which, which match up with what we're looking at on the pen, right? So let's move these out of the way because we don't need them. Actually, we do need them because I'm gonna need to ink them. I'm actually just gonna dip because I feel like dipping instead. So we're just gonna open that up. Okay. So we got um, as follows, right? So it's like this. Yeah, I'm gonna move those. So the if we look at them like this. You can obviously see that the Homer is a bit bigger. The Homer appeals to me a bit more. I think it's a little more subtle. I like the, the silver trim on this one. I like the clip a lot, but if you look at like the thing with the Homer that makes it awesome is check out that horse. It's, it's sculpted into the barrel. And once you see it, it's just amazing. I absolutely love horses. I think they're exquisite creatures. So for me, this one was really exciting. And like everybody loves pups, right? Like, so the wolf is gorgeous. It's a lot more in your face though, right? So let's uncap the, um, this nib is a broad and this nib is a fine, but you can see again here, like this is a huge difference in nib size. So overall, I prefer the Homer. I like the larger nib. I like the, the look of the barrel, but I think both are really nice. So shall we just do some dippy dippy? Let's start with last year's perhaps. We can do the Homer first. Okay. Sorry, that was really weird. Um, we're just gonna dip this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just We're just doing this for fun, right? Okay, let's zoom in just a tiny bit. Okay, so we got the Now, I know from experience that this nib is absolutely outstanding. Um, and I know I have an unboxing video of the other one up you can look at. And that nib is outstanding. So in terms of nib performance, it really depends on what you like. This is a broad, which in Mont Blanc standards is fairly stubby. You can see it here. They both are flawless and I love, like I honestly, I know, like, I've also been hesitant because I've had Mont Blancs that were over polished and stuff, but so far my luck has been really decent, and um, these are just fantastic. So the, uh, the finer the nib, the, the more likely it is to perform uh, without issue. So um, this is the Homer Greek Blue. And how I typically like to use this nib is straight on the page because then it shows off the, um, the stubbiness a little bit more. Hello, cello, hello. But you can see that nib is a whopper. It's got really nice um, details on it. It's really nice, so I really like it. And um, lovely pen. I was gonna write horse. 
So we close that up and let's pull out the other one, which is the Kipling. Again, this is more so just a just for fun, right? Like this is just a fun video. Just a little fun thing. And so for this one, this is the can see that obviously it's a much finer writer. This is the um, Rudyard Kipling Jungle Green Walk. So that's basically it. Like there's not a whole lot to say. Um, it's more so just like a fun thing to look at these two pens and see what they've done with each writer's edition. Um, which one do you prefer? Like do you like one or the other? I know that they're not for everyone and that's perfectly fine. Um, I like them because I like the animals and um, it's... Uh, I don't know. I think they're interesting. I think the horse is amazing. Like it's just so subtle and like sculpted into the barrel that it just looks awesome. And I like the larger nib, but I also like the wolf and I like the, the sage green color of the, like the jungle green that they've gone for. It's a bit sagey. Um, I think they're really nice. And so just wanted to share with you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you found this fun. If you did like, uh, please like and subscribe. I would be super grateful. And if you enjoyed and you have any comments or anything, or you want to chime in with which one you prefer, like let me know below. And if you like this kind of stuff, I'll see about being able to do more stuff like this for you in the future. Uh, that's pretty much everything. Thanks to Applebaum for loaning me this pen and my friend for loaning me this pen. I guess I'll return them. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens and also as Toronto Pen Company for your nib grinding and modified parallel and folded nib needs amongst other things. All right, everyone, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>